Hey guys, what's up? Plague Spores here. Welcome to episode 5 of Alone in Ultima Online. Alone in Ultima Online is a series that I'm doing where I spin up in an Ultima Online server and I'm the only one in it. The only player. Um, and it's about just surviving the world, seeing how much I can get into, how much I can achieve, and bringing you guys along for the ride. So, when we left off last time, I was saying I was going to make my way to a dungeon uh, so I can show you guys. I'm not sure if I'm ready for that yet. But we shall find out. Uh, before I actually go, I'm going to drop off some gold and supplies off at the bank and get some more bandages because we will need those bandages going to a dungeon. Especially if you've seen how much a plant can take me out. Alright, we're going to get into our bank box by saying <laughs> bank. And we are going to drop off this gold. We'll throw the wood in here that we found the regions till next time we come back and sell them. And let's see here. Empty bottles we don't need. We do need bandages. So let's say we have 25, so let's say an additional 50. So we have 75. Alright, we're going to go ahead and drop this in here. And we don't need 16 kindlin, so we're going to take 6 kindlin. That drops us down to about one, 150 out of the 261 weight I can handle. It's good enough. So let's go ahead and uh, set forth. So we're going to come out towards the top of Britain, out where the graveyard is. And we are going to go ahead and head towards the spies after I kill this rat. Get out of my town. No rats allowed. Cleaning up this town. Alright, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and eat something. Quite full. Alright, so to get to the spies, you have to head north of the graveyard. There is a uh, pass that goes through the mountain, the mountain pass, and it's like in between the mountain, multiple mountains, there's another pass. And there's a lot of mobs right here. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead, run up here. Another thing to keep in mind about pets, how I have a horse is you need to keep them happy. How do you keep them happy? You feed them. So if you feed if you feed your your pet until they are happy, they will be fine. They will love you. If you don't feed your pet, at some point it will stop listening to you. And that could be very bad, especially if you're a tamer and you have pretty crazy pets like nightmares or dragons. They can turn on you. So you definitely want them to love you. <laughs> also, if you uh, feed them and stable them for, I believe it's a week, then they will bond to you. Which means, even after they die, even after they die, they will uh, be a ghost and follow you around. You can resurrect them. Alright, let's go ahead and loot these. this rat. This dirty rat over here. Get all this gold. Kill this rat. Rat that has 34 gold. Thank you, rat. Alright, you know what? For the sake of these videos, maybe I should turn off Dark Nights. I think that would be a good idea. So I'm going to go ahead and Alt-O to bring up the options. And let's see if I remember where this is at. Here we go. Dark Knights. Apply. Alright, now we can see. So if I actually drink a Night Sight potion, it'll be like day. So let's go ahead and do that. Disarm. There we go. So now you can see. So in dungeons, obviously we're in a cave. If you had a shovel or a pickaxe, you could mine here. If you are, say, like a miner or a blacksmith miner and make stuff out of it or sell it stuff, you can definitely come in here and mine. So, up or down, I'll show you up. 
There's a slime, I need my blade. And this is going to destroy my weapon pretty fast if I stay here. But, um... I'll just go ahead and run around and show you real quick. How much is that actually just not bad. Alright, you can see these chests in here. Zero items. Metal chest, I can open that up. So you can open all this stuff up. Now there's also lock chests and stuff for, that you can use lock picking on. Open up, or there's trap chests. So come in here and just keep uh, farming. I'll show you the bottom section of the dungeon a little bit later. Now I don't know if the spawners I'm using, if the chests actually have anything. We'll keep an eye out though. Oops, I just closed my pack. Kill this rat real quick. A rat with a uh, mace. Okay. Go ahead and put our gold in there. Let's see if any of these have items. Probably, I'm guessing not. Doesn't look like it. So what I'll do is I'll later on add a mod for that. So we can come in here and we can say we can make a dungeon crawler or a thief. Or a treasure hunter with lock picking and stuff like that. Amber, maybe? No. Okay, you can actually resurrect here. Or not. It's not enabled. It's okay. You might just walk up to it and it works. Continue killing these slimes. So my durability of my sword was 81. And it's now 78. So that is doing quite a bit of damage. Those slimes. There's a scorpion. Let's see. The slimes are doing a lot of damage to my uh, weapon. Better believe a scorpion will. Kill these rats. And this is a dungeon. Now what would happen on a server, even though this is a lowly, you know, nice low dungeon for new players, you still get murderers, and they will come here. They will hunt you, they will kill you, players will kill you. And take all your stuff, all of your loot. Ouch, these rats are kicking my ass. It is very easy to get overwhelmed in a dungeon. And overrun. So you guys kind of take your time and know where to run. Because they do respawn, you have to fight your way back out. Just like now, I'm gonna. I'm hurting. I need to get my bandages going. Not that way. Slimes. Ouch. I'm gonna die. So I'm gonna run out. I don't spawn over here. I'll chill over here. Let my bandages do some work. Eat some food. But I'm stuffed, so I'm good. And let's get back to that fight. Bam! That's right. There's one. There's two. There's three. Now I could be actually cutting these guys up. And I can get some ribs from them. I can get hides from them.
We just really care about the food. Stay away from this scorpion. And he's on me. It's a great. That could be very bad. I don't know if I could take this without dying. If he poisons me. So far, so good. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Poison potion. What can you do with these poison potions? You don't want to drink a poison potion, folks. If you drink this poison potion, you will get poisoned. Um, nice thing about poisoning yourself is it does block certain things and it can uh, unlock you. So if you're in combat, in combat, there's a spell that mages use in combat. It's called paralyze. If you're paralyzed, you're stuck until somebody damages you. Now, if you have a lesser poison potion like this, and later on, when you're stronger, you could drink one of these bad boys. Guess what it does? It ticks away, and then deals damage and frees you. Nice handy, guys. Otherwise, you can, uh, if you're a poisoner, if you have poison skill, a nice shady thing, you can poison blades, so anything with an edge, and they'll, in fact, in fact uh, apply poison. Did I just aggro that? I don't know. I'm gonna keep going. Another horde of these giant rats. And a slime. Let's go ahead and just start moving down here. Here's that one. You don't want to get surrounded by mobs. You will not be able to move. Like I said, that's stamina. You can walk through one. Once you do, your stamina goes down. If you have uh, stamina potions, you can deal with it that way. And as you can see, we have 800 gold in our way, on our way to being rich. Not really. Eventually, maybe someday we'll build a house. I'll show you guys what it looks like to build a house on public servers. You will see all kinds of player and houses all over the place. Okay, some ratmen here. There we go. So my healing is obviously going up because I'm doing a lot better with that. The more my parry goes up, the more I'll be able to avoid all these hits. And he just stole my gold off that corpse. I, oh, jeez. This is not good. You might see me die. Lose my horse again. Come on. Bandages. Come on. See, what I did, I pinned myself. Oh, I had full stamina. Move through them. Being perfectly rested, you shove them out of the way. Whew, that was close. So you can see if there's like multiple mobs right there, it'd be a little bit difficult to do that. And you will die. And good luck getting your corpse to your corpse. Get your stuff. Nothing, nothing, nothing. 
Let's see if there's an elemental up here. There might be an elemental up here. Take a look at my weapon. 74. Looks like just more slimes. Let's see if there's a chest. Uh, nope. We'll move along. There's slime. There's an ankh. Okay, there's a chest. That's empty. Yeah. Scorpions. Two of them. I got this. This. They got nothing on me. Except that poison. Oh, shoot, oh, shoot, oh, shoot. This is not good. This is what I was talking about. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, I'm dead. <laughs> My poor horse, he's going to follow me, but... He's going to die. To a slime. And I'm going the wrong way. And he's going to get poisoned if I don't get out of here with him. Alright, let's see if there's a healer out here. I think there's one on the other side of this mountain. Oh, a horse. You need to stay. He's going to follow me. Oh, shoot. It's a rat. Let's just take our time here. Look for a healer. Not get my horse killed. Dire wolf will definitely kill him. Hey, good to know there's a sheep down here. Oh, dire wolves. Oh, I'll tell you what, let's see. Let's see if I can run to this Ankh fast enough in, in this dungeon and see if it's enabled so it can heal or resurrect. And sometimes I forget an original server if you had to be part of that virtue or that shrine. So you, if you click this symbol you'll actually see your virtues here and you can follow these virtues and get abilities. So here goes nothing. We are going to run up here and run as fast as we can to my to the aunt and to my corpse. Hopefully, my horse does not die. Oh no, it won't. All right, it looks like I'm going to have to run. Tell you what, guys. Oh shoot, the slime's on him. I'm gonna have to run out real quick. Yeah, I went the wrong way again. Don't poison him. He's a friendly horse. Oh man. Alright guys, well I'm going to go ahead and cut right here for this episode and we'll come back hopefully revived and at our body. Uh, if you guys like this, leave like it, subscribe, leave comments, just let me know what you want to see and it shall be done. Until next time guys, this is Plague Spores. See you guys later.